food. Most of us eat it, and a fair amount of the time, we have to cook it. And what's more, you have all these different rules about what temperature stuff has to be in order to not make you sick. Over the years, we've developed a lot of different ways of testing temperature, but the most steadfast time-tested way is to shove a piece of metal in it and see how much it deforms. This little stabby device is probably very familiar to you. It's the most common meat thermometer there is. There's one flaw, however. There is no other way than to open the cooking apparatus and visually inspect the gauge to read the temperature. This has some drawbacks, not the least of which being that you let out a considerable amount of heat and it sort of sucks getting blasted in the face with hot, humid air, particularly if you wear glasses. So, obviously, I'm going to show you this, the Sonoff Barbecue Meat Thermometer, which can be used for pretty much anything you want to find the core temperature of through mild violence. Now, I've mentioned this before, but it bears repeating. I have not been paid or coerced in any way to give this product a positive review. Sonoff did send me the thing for free, but I'm under no obligation to like it. Let's get the worst thing for me out of the way now. The app. You must use the EWE Link app to do things like configure alerts, which will cause the device to beep as well as send you a push notification. That might be useful to you, and honestly, it's the most reasonable reason to have an app. If you don't link the device to the app, it will still happily read temperatures, you just won't get the alarm. The second worst thing to me is that this is likely the least heavily built Sonoff product I've held. That may be simply because the manufacturing process required to use certain materials makes things difficult, or the materials themselves may be a bit less rigid. In any case, don't squeeze the screen too hard, which is difficult to avoid when changing or installing the batteries. Now, let's talk about the things I like for a moment, and there are quite a few of those. First, I like the little loop and supplied magnetic hook. The magnet seems good enough to hold the device's weight laterally, and that's a really good thing for cooking or grilling. Second, I like the size and readability of the display. It's not fancy or special in any way, it's just a straightforward, to-the-point, digital temperature display. The purpose of every little icon is immediately understandable as well. Another thing I like is having two probes. Not only do you get two probes, but you'll be able to buy more because the device actually supports four. So many roasts. So many. A bit more trivial, but very nice and convenient, Sonoff supplies this fabric bag, which is quite nice for storing the probes without them becoming the dominant power in any given junk drawer. This device comes out November 12th, which should be today, if everything has gone according to plan. However, I don't know the price yet. Speaking of prices, Sonoff is running some specials on their store at the moment, and they wanted me to mention it. If you spend at least $59, you get $10 off. If you spend $119, you get $20 off. And if you spend $159, you get $30 off. Also, they're running a couple Black Friday sales. The iHost Zigbee LAN and Matter Bridge is 12% off, and the NS Panel Pro is 30% off, so you can pick one up for about $84. I don't normally like to promote sales and that sort of thing, but the NS Panel Pro may be worth checking out at that price. And if you're into Zigbee and Matter, the iHost is a pretty nice looking device. I'll post some affiliate links in the description. You don't pay any more, but I get a little something for every product sold, which helps the channel. And since I'm already being shameless, perhaps you could let the algorithm know I'm kinda neato by liking the video. And if you're really serious about it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. With all that out of the way, let's get back to the food warmth and safety shiv. I'm about to say a very strange thing. There's a feature in the app that I actually really like with this particular device. The temperature graph. Not only is it neat to look at, but you can also save it. I tested the sensing, display, alarm, and app features on a pot of boiling water, and I'm pretty happy with it. This Thanksgiving, I'm going to give it a really good test, and then I'll get back to you when the time comes. For now, I'm going to say that this little doodad gets a B. As usual, I don't like the app requirement, 
but this thing actually has some more practical than novel applications, and I have to respect that. Before I sign off, I want to thank my members, shown here. And to everyone watching, I would like to sincerely thank you for your minutes. We don't know how many we get, and you've decided to give me some of yours. I'm always grateful for that. Thank you for sticking around, and I do hope you'll join me for future videos as I continue exploring smarter circuits.